Nambite is a small town girl at heart. Um, in Port Elizabeth. I'm a bubbly, vivacious personality. I think I've always been like this since a child. I ask too many questions. I want to know why and who and when. Um, and I just put my nose in everything. But I think the, the mature version is a very self-assured um, woman who knows who she is and, and, and kind of speaks her mind. Very straightforward. Um, I'm an actress. That is my craft, that's my love, that's my calling, that's my passion. Um, a nerd at heart, I have gone through it, through um, a business science, five years at UCT. But um, for me, I think to describe the core of who I am, I, I want to change the world. As, as far as the initiatives that I'm part of and what drew me to the initiatives that I'm part of, I think my upbringing um, is a big part of that. You know, I was brought up with the notion of charity begins at home. Um, I was brought up with the notion of you give back, um, you need to serve your community. I, My mother is in the medical field, retired now, but when she was part of the Department of Health, um, we would go on road trips together and at this time her, her, um, her thing was HIV coordinator and we would go on these road trips throughout the Eastern Cape, you know, meet with AIDS orphans, give classes and for me that was a big part of that's my upbringing, that's what she taught me at school which was collegiate girls high school as part of the intact rotary you know and community service was a big part fact and non verba was our motto deeds not words so for me it's been a big part of my upbringing and um now i've seen it kind of lived through you know um in in in, in as an adult when i was still in corporate i came up with the csi our office was not really built around that and i was like guys what are we doing for mandela day let's go to this orphanage about pumelele children's home and I started adopting orphanages. So there's an Alex um, Krish that is a very big part of, yeah, don't, don't talk about it, um, but I started serving um, in my church's social upreach, which is called CRC Cares. Big, big part of that. So every Sunday I serve and every Wednesday we do outreaches at Kaya Sands and we started adopting the Alex Krish. And we stepped away with, from it as a church um, but I still had a very personal connect. So I started the Lady Nam Blanket Drive in partnership with News for Change. And I just actually was like, you know what, let me just get a bunch of my friends, let me use my platform, let us get blankets. And I know what, who I'm doing it for. It's my, it's, my, it's my kids and Alex at the crutch. And for me, that really encouraged me. You know, I've always done everything through an organization which has been through CRC, um, the church that I belong to. But now I realize I actually have a platform. I need to use this. That was the first time I really realized there's so much I can do and, and this is it. And now I'm very excited to finally launch my own um, dream i must say it has been for a while and it already fell into place it was more the demand from young girls that i started getting you know um, i'm very vulnerable when it comes to sharing my life sharing my my struggles you know i'm very open when it comes to you know being um, teased when I was younger for being dark-skinned and the role my grandmother played in the self-assurance that I have today and that I've always had really so in in the roles that I was playing in in really me just speaking out about my own experiences a lot of young girls started messaging me and DMing me about oh my gosh I'm going through the same thing um, you know just watching you and how you carry yourself has given me so much confidence um, I'm now beginning to love myself I mean the most crazy craziest DMs and, and, and a lot of girls opening up to me about very dark things and, and just how much of a impact I've had in their lives and that for me was overwhelming I was just like wow you know I have this passion for young girls yes I take the time to respond to each and every one of them but I need to find something that I can do to reach even more I realized that I am very influential and I have impact and I just don't know how to package it so she Speaks was birthed and um, oh, I'm just so excited. I, I started small and it's only the beginning. It's only been one. I launched it on um, Women's Day and She Speaks really is about women finding their voice. She Speaks is going to cover a lot of things. It's going to cover women finding their voice personally in their self-esteem and their own journey of self-discovery. But it's going to also look at finance and, and wealth creation. I 
very, very, very passionate about investing in property. That's one of my loves. So I want to empower women in all spheres of their lives. You know, I think that that's really what we need to do. It's ongoing. It's not only on Women's Month or Women's Day, but we need to help each other out. Let's start with the fact that do I classify myself as a feminist, darling? I, I don't really necessarily believe in, in labels. I love cigars, for example. That's a very boyish thing. I love my whiskey and having cigars and listening to jazz. So there are very other sides of me that I'm not that are not feminist ways. Um, but at the same time, I think I strive for equality. Um, and I strive for that very, very passionately. Social media plays a very huge role, I think, in absolutely everything. We've seen the power that it's played um, in business. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to use this as an example, but um, the Kardashians have been really great tools in showing how well you can use social media. Um, Kylie Jenner, for example, with her makeup line, she's birthed and she's used that through her social media platform. For me, it really is, a, it, it's a double-edged sword because social media has its negative effects. I think it's given a lot of unnecessary pressure on girls and um, I'm against that, to be honest with you, and striving for um, perfection that doesn't even exist. But at the same time, it's the tool that I have to personally have that one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, and as I said, you know, girls would DM me and message me through social media, opening up to me. And for me, that really is the personal effect that I have. So she speaks I've used through social media. Um, I, I want to get to know my followers and it was the most interesting thing to see a, see an Instagram handle come to life um, and, and, and spend three hours with them, you know, during brunch and getting to know each person and realizing that you're a person behind your Instagram handle. <laughs>